What's up, y'all? So I'm just getting done with the hike up early on a Friday morning out here in the, in the beauty of Reno. And I wanted to share uh, an epiphany of shorts that I had just right now, right? So I'm getting done with my hike. Uh, I'm tired. It's been a long week. My muscles are sore. My brain is tired. All this stuff, right? But I'm getting done with this hike. And all I had on me was this water and like a little bit of a jar of a... Uh, peanut butter I brought from home, right? And so I didn't open this uh, before I left home, but I brought it with me because I usually get hungry on my hikes. I'm a big dude, I need food, right? So I'm on this hike, I'm on this hike, I'm going. I decided to kind of, you know, begin to uh, pick it up a little bit. So I begin to jog, hit a couple sprints. Now I'm tired, right? Now I'm like tired, I'm, 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 I need food, I need something to replenish myself, right? So I get to a point here where I'm like, okay, let's just have a little break. I drink some of the water I have, right? And then I pull out the uh, the peanut butter I brought, right? And I open it and I literally, literally had like maybe a fourth of a spoon in this thing of food, right? Maybe a fourth, if you dug like hard, hard, hard in there, I had maybe a fourth of a spoon, right? So I'm here and I'm like, dude, I'm hungry, yo. It's like 9 a.m. in the morning now, I need food, like, I need something to replenish myself. Right? I'm starving right now. I'm starving. So I open this thing. I open it and I just begin. I, I, I don't know how I fit my hand in, but I put my hand in there and I just begin to dig. Right? I'm digging. I'm digging. I'm digging. I'm digging. I'm scraping. I'm scraping. I'm scraping. All my mouth. Uh, uh, uh. Anything I could pull out, I'm digging. I'm digging. I'm getting for it. Right? And then I'm like at the end, I'm like I can't put my hand in there no more, but I still see like a little bit left. Right? I grab some. <laughs> I grab some of the water I have and I pour it in there a little bit, just a little bit. You know, just enough to make it wet. So I shut it up, shake it real hard. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Open it. I see that there's a bit more in there and I drink it, right? After I do this stuff, I, <laughs> I reflected, right? And I was like, well, I, I, I had some food in my system now, so I felt good, right? Um, I reflected and I was like, man, would I have done that same thing if I was at home right now? If I got up from my living room and went to my kitchen and pulled out this exact same jar and saw that it was only maybe a fourth of a, of a spoon left, would I have tugged it out as hard as I could have, as hard as I did right now? Or would I have just thrown it away, right? And um, it's sad because I knew I know if I was at home right now, I wouldn't even have have opened the jar. I, I would have I would have looked at it and be like, man, this, this this thing is done, right? Let's go buy a new one. You know? Let's go make it easier on ourselves, right? And I'm beginning to realize that this jar, this little bucket, it's a, it's a metaphor for everything that we encounter in our lives, yo. It's it's a it's a metaphor for the opportunities we have for for the for the people we meet for the interviews we have for something that that pops up in our life that's new for these resources that we have in our lives right how many of us are truly emptying out the bucket with every opportunity we have every new individual you meet everything new you do every resource you have at your availability it's all a bucket it's all a jar it's all a bucket how many of us are truly emptying out the bucket every chance we get Right? I think that's the difference between someone who's hungry, someone who wants success, right? And between someone who's starving, between someone who can't go on till they get it. I think that's the difference, yo. And, and it's, it's amazing to me because how many resources in our life are we looking at that, that, that we feel as if are inadequate? You know, if only I had a little more of this, a little more time, if only I had a little more money. If only if I was more intelligent. If only the people around me were better. If only my parents raised me better. If only this, this, or this, right? But instead, you miss the fact that you have all this stuff in your life already, but you're not emptying it out. You're not willing to scratch and dig and claw and throw a little water in there and shake it up and drink it, right? Because I'm realizing that I do that stuff. And it's an incredible feeling when you're able to shift your mentality to look at everything as a bucket, you know? You receive a full bucket. Every time you get an opportunity, you get a full bucket. Are you going just, you know, do the easy thing, eat it with a spoon, or at the end, are you going to empty it out? Are you going to get in there real deep and empty out that bucket? I think that 
is the difference between people who are hungry and people who are starving. People who want success and people who want to be great. People who want to be known and people who want to be legendary. So, that's the message for the day. Stay starving. Take your hunger to an obsessive level. Take that desire you have to a level that's unmatched by anything but fulfilling your soul with satisfying him. Enjoy.